Hello, it is I, Professor Clonebrand. It's time for another episode of me, Professor Clonebrand. So let's see what we have here. This is from Sluban. It's the same company that made that uh, submarine in the other episode. And uh, this is an is a Panzer, yes, it's a tank. The Amazon.com listed it as a Merkava. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like one. We will see when it is done. It includes five figures, yes. So one, two, three, four, and five. It has 344 pieces, according to the box. In the back will show Just some uh, other angles of the model. There's a uh, 24.5 centimeters long, including the barrel. That's quite a nice size. And oh, let's see. That's about all it shows. The other box showed other sets, but this one does not. So I shall open it up and let's see what's inside, shall we? Yeah. Ooh. Brr. He's stuck. Brr. It came in a tray. Ooh. Oh my. So let's see what here is, shall we? There's a cardboard. One bag, two bags, three bags, four bags, there's a five bags, six bags with lots of arms in that one. The instructions, some stickers, and two rubber treads. I shall go build it. Let us see what it is like. There it is. It is actually quite nice in my opinion. Let us give it a look, shall we? It is a army green kind of color. So, uh, it's quite a nice size, I think. There's nice little details on it. The, the panels here that protect the, the, uh, the wheels, the skirting, yes. It uh, has some lights and a little exhaust. There's even something here that kind of looks like an ammo thingy, maybe. Let's see. Oh yes, there's little handholds, which is quite nice. And the big gun. Now, the figures do not fit all the way in. Uh, let, let me get my big-handed assistant to help. Yes. See, the figure, pull about. Do not fit all the way in. But you can close the hatch make it look like he's inside. There is space for three people. Ooh, the driver, the commander, and the gunner. Up here is a, is a little turret with a big machine gun on it. Yes, pew 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 pew. And there is a big gun which goes up and down, but uh, this is as far down as it goes, so hopefully your targets are not uh, short. And then it goes up all this way. Which looks more like a self-propelled artillery weapon. But uh, that, that's due to the way that the hinge is. But I think it looks okay. Especially up to that angle. It's very nice. Oh, there's a little uh, spotlight up here. Now, the instructions did not tell me to put the machine gun here, but it, I just thought that is where it should go because there was the clip. Uh, the turret will rotate all the way around. I forgot the stickers. Uh, let me go look at that real quick, because there's never instructions for those. Here's a look at the stickers if you want to see them before I put them on. 
So, that is the tank model. It's pretty cool. Let us look at the figures. Five figures came with this. Oh, the guns are massive. They came on this, uh, the sprue. There was actually two of these sprues. But you can see with me next to them that they are truly massive. It looks like they're based on, uh, the, the British assault rifle, maybe? I forgot what the number was. But they are huge! I mean, the machine gun's okay to have huge, because you can mount it on the tank. Yeah. Where, where's that fancy minifigure display thing in my barber? Oh, there it is. So here are three of the figures. They are the tank crew. This guy is the only one with a unique torso. He has like the officer's uniform with the, the necktie. All the rest of the guys have this uh, kind of jacket with some belts and bandoliers. All of them have different faces though. There are no prints on the backs. Two of them have the army helmets. One of them has a beret. So he is clearly the commander. I do apologize for the lighting. We still need to get that fixed. But I hope you can, uh... Let me turn it like these. Oh yes, there we go. We can see the torsos. The, the, the posability on these is rather nice. The, the, uh, the hands are on little ball joints, so they can kind of move. The legs look a little weird. Kind of makes them look slouched. And then the, the neck is actually a ball joint, so that is nice as well. It gives you a little bit wider range of motion. Here are the other two figures. They, they have some different helmets with some lights and microphones on them. And they also have the backpacks, so they are like the troopers that assist the tank. So you can see the guns are huge. Focus! There we go. So the guns are just massive. Yeah, I'll probably replace the guns with something else later. But uh, I actually kind of like these. I'm getting dizzy. Get me off of here! Oh. So, here it is. The finished set. I actually quite like these slubans. I might have to get some more. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all of my episodes. And you can also follow the Twitter and Instagram for more pictures and such. Thank you!